Hi, Glenna. Been really busy lately filming new material, but I saw your comment over on uh, the Five Pencil Method community and you made the request of wanting to know if I could tell whether you're improving in your contrast. And I see it, obviously. You're doing a wonderful job. Uh, you're clarifying things much better and you're getting a wider range of value. You're your darks are darker and you're contrasting with the with the lighter areas and the lighter values and I just want to remind you about one thing that is going to take this to a whole new level if you can put a range of value within those dark areas that you're uh, you know working on so when I see something like like this stripe going up here to where it's less light I want to see an increase in value now my uh, Photoshop is going to be a little dark here, but it'll still help you see what I'm talking about. You, we want to be able to see it go into the area where there's less light. Each one of these things can be done in the same way. And this will help you have that sense that you're going behind something, that it's deeper again with less light there, and you'll quickly demonstrate a new depth and dimension to your picture. So. Just imagine, even if you don't see it evident in your photograph or your reference, just imagine where would it be darker and also where would it be lighter. And you can make some real good decisions about your picture. Now I know this is probably something real common. I may have even mentioned it to you or you've heard me mention it to somebody else before. But each one of these things going behind this ridge would be darker. And again, I'm making some very dark lines so you can see them in Photoshop, but everything within that value range would get darker. So you'd have these things going up into the shadow and they'd be darker when they go to where there's less light. Each one of these things can have that happen. You can have the same thing with the, uh, with the eyes where you're able to take this and make it a little darker at the top and fade it down. And look at the intensity you suddenly have with your eyes. This is going to really be a great opportunity and as you see it happening in one place you'll be able to see other opportunities in your drawing that you can pick up the same thing. So that range of value is tremendous and it'll help you suggest that there are deeper recesses in certain places and you don't want it to be everywhere. You really want to apply it where it's actually less light to the best of your ability to, to decide that it's going to be a huge opportunity for you to progress and continue uh, you know, making these into something completely uh, different and more effective. So if you need to go over the rules of light, it's uh, something that, again, I refer to often. Go over to 5pencilmethod.com. Uh, you know, click on the free lessons. You'll see the choices of the five free lessons. It's number three and it's the rules of light and this helps you understand not just the things that I pointed out but that everything gets darker so everything the lights and the darks will increase in value you will still want separation but they will all get darker and the other way everything gets lighter it immediately adds wonderful curve and dimension you know to your drawings so I think you should get excited when you see this happen to your picture. Look forward to seeing you uh, with your update. If I have a chance to get over there to the Five Pencil Method community and catch your drawing update. And uh, talk to you later, Glenna. Just really proud of you.